Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing certification under the provisions of the U.S. Thai Treaty of Amity. For those who are unaware, American citizens can be granted what's called national treatment under the provisions of the treaty. The result of this, or the upshot, if you will, is the fact that an American can come and set up a company in Thailand and own their company basically 100% notwithstanding the provisions of the Foreign Business Act in Thailand, which oftentimes will prohibit foreigners from owning any more than 49% of a company. So under the Treaty of Amity, it's possible for an American to own that company outright. Now that's a big difference, obviously, for obvious reasons. But the, the thing to take away from this video and the question posed is, is it quote unquote worth it? And what are we saying when worth it? Well, that was kind of my question. A couple of people have asked me this over the last six months, and I said, well, what do you mean worth it? I mean, it depends on what it's worth to you. Uh, there's some people that get a great deal of peace of mind knowing that they own their company outright. There's no other you know, majority shareholder. In many cases, they don't have to have anybody else on their board. They're just on their company, you know, and they are, and they own it outright. You know, again, if they're certified under the Treaty of Amity. So again, it's kind of a weird question that I've been posed. Is it worth it? Yeah, there are extra costs, no doubt. Uh, there are extra service fees. We've got to do extra work to get a company certified under the treaty. But the notion of it being worth it, well, it depends what's something worth to you. What is ownership of your company outright worth to you?